Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna show you how I create this digital mock-up of a baby onesie. So I wanna sell this onesie, but I don't actually want to make a onesie because you never know, it might not sell. Um, you know, I might just not have the material on hand. And what's great about creating mock-ups is that you can create a lot of listings for your Etsy or Facebook or wherever you're selling at once. So I'm not actually turning my Cricut on, I'm not cutting it, I am just creating a digital mock-up, which is what you see here of a onesie. So I wanna show you today how I do this. Before I even think about creating the mock-up, I already created the image that I want to put on the baby onesie. I actually found this image in Cricut. Um, it was one of the Cricut Access projects, so just for the sake of time, I imported it here. So you wanna have your cut image ready to go. Now what I did was I went to Etsy and I typed into the search, baby bodysuit mock-up. And here you see, there are lots of shops. I really like Lock and Page. I have their um, their $25 membership where I get all of her mock-up images. And you can see people actually have Etsy shops that are just dedicated to photographing blank, um, like blank t-shirts, onesies, mugs, whatever it is. So all you have to do is drag your design on the top and then it looks like you've actually created the onesie even though you have not. So I downloaded one already and it's on my computer. I think I have this one as well. So what I am going to do is, well, let's get out of Etsy. I have the image over here on my computer. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to upload, upload image, browse your computer, and here it is. We'll open this and now you're not cutting this image so just put complex and we can skip this part entirely. Press continue. Now you're going to save it as a print then cut image. Do not save it as a cut image because as you see it will just cut the square out. Let's press save. Okay, so now it's uploaded in my image. I'm going to click on it and I wanna insert it onto my canvas. Now this is a very large image, so it might take your Cricut a minute to actually process the image, so just have patience. And as you can see, this is very large. I don't need it to be 20 inches by 20 inches. So to make this load quicker, I am going to reduce the size. Let's make it 10. And there we go. So now we're gonna make this a little bit bigger, and as you can see, we have the image of the onesie, but I need to get the design to lay over the top of it. So now I have this image here, but I want to make it look like I have actually put the design on it already. So because I inserted this in, it went to the top of my layers, so I wanna drag, I wanna take this cut layer and drag it to the top, or you can also right click and then press um, send to front and I'm going to position it on top of the onesie. There we go. And now you can't actually save this image to your computer, but what you can do is you can press Command Shift 4 on your Mac and you can take the screenshot. Open it up. And there you go. It's really easy. This is not like the best way to do it, but if you have Cricut Design Space and you don't have any other program, this will definitely suffice. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video and you wanna see more tutorials, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post lots of tips, tricks, and tutorials, and I will see you guys in the next video.